Okay, um, I kind of want to do a uh, piggyback off of um, our sister Nez's uh, video, and I'll put it in the description box. Uh, a little tired today. I've uh, had some stomach pain because of my kidney and everything, and so, yeah, prayers appreciated. Um, but I wanted to share this comment that I left on her channel because, um, and I've talked to her about, uh, about this as well, is that I think the analogy of, um, the one that she used was really, uh, good because, um, and it was the red pill versus the, the, the blue pill with, um, you know, basically breaking, breaking free of, of the matrix. And, um, I think a lot of people are looking at it, or some people, I should say, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but um, some people were looking at it from a, you know, wor a worldly standpoint. And yes, that is part of it, but I, um, I got something a lot different out of it. And um, it's, well, I'll just read what, what I wrote. Okay. And then I'll, um, and then I have some, uh, Something else I wanted to share, too. Uh, hopefully I'll remember. Um, anyway, uh, I said, Amen, sis. A perfect analogy for either choosing Christ as Savior or staying in denial of Christ. And just so you know, I I'm, like, famous for writing books on, on people's pages, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> I just don't want to shut up. <laughs> um I'd also add to this because I think I did a similar video uh, with this same analogy being used. And I don't remember where it is. I don't even know if I have it still in my playlist or not. Um, but I think I have a similar picture uh, like she has. And I honestly don't remember the whole, uh, whole context of it. But it was kind of similar. Um, and I think in some ways there's layers to each pill like you spoke of too. I'll try and explain. Hopefully it makes sense. Please. Um, with the red pill, choosing Christ, growing in the knowledge of him uh, by faith alone and feasting on him at the table daily, our daily bread and wine, uh, is like seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes, meaning the height, the depth, the length, the breadth, uh, and I think I forgot the width, my bad. Um, you know, basically the riches of Christ and freedom to enjoy those uh, riches now. Um, amen. Versus the blue pill, the world, religion, good people versus bad people, concept of thinking, um, etc. Also having layers of of, of thinking. Um, actually, I kind of overstepped that, but anyway, you get the point. Um, also having layers as well. Most people think because they are good to others and not bad, then God's surely going to let them in. Zero gospel, zero Christ. Um, next, you have those that and this is majority of my family as well, and I'm sure I've, I've spoke to many brothers brothers and sisters that uh, say the same, um, think because their family was a specific religion, then they are therefore okay in God's eyes. So, be, you know, again, it's zero Christ or zero, zero gospel, zero Christ. Um, uh, believe it or not, a lot of, a lot of people think that, um, and it's sad because, and it has to do with the, you know, the indoctrination of not forsaking the assembly or, 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 you know, being baptized. So as long as you're baptized, then you're saved, you know, um, again, it's all indoctrination and it's crap. Um, then you got the naysayers that say nothing in this world is for free. There's always a price. These people refuse to see how Christ paid in full our, our, their sin debt, and that salvation is free by faith alone. Amen. 
This is mainly because they were religiously brought up to believe you had to earn God's favor and have and, and have uh, and gave up basically even trying. And I put in parentheses, knocking on any heart doors here. Because um, a lot of us were brought up um, in the church. And or maybe I should say, some, the ones of us, those of us who were brought up in the church were told to, you know, work for God's favor. And um, uh, that we had to um, uh, keep, a, you know, basically a tally of all our, all our good good deeds. I mean, like I said, it's basic, basically Catholicism, um, versus, uh, just resting in Christ and, and, uh, knowing that he paid it all and he's not expecting anything from us whatsoever. Um, and we can enjoy getting to know him every day. And, and the, uh, the blood speaks for us. The blood is our answer for, for everything. Um, amen. So, uh, where was I? Okay. Paid in full for, okay. Yeah. This is mainly because they were brought up in, uh, and knocking out any hard stores. Okay. Um, there's so many, um, okay. Okay. There's so many indoct indoctrinated layers of crap. We have to let God bring us through in order to see the simplicity of the battery works which is like, or, or how the battery works, uh, which is like Christ in us as our new, no, I'm not talking about new heart crap. That's for Israel, not the church. So don't worry about that. Um, hope, hope of glory. And through his life-giving spirit, we live, not us trying to just live and let live. And hopefully we'll have been good enough to make it. Hopefully that made sense. No, there's more to just this life now on earth. And he's a person who loved us enough to die for all the world's sins and offer us by faith alone in the blood through the gospel of free grace, according to the scriptures. Amen. His eternal spirit and become our, um, our hope of glory forever, along with being baptized into his body the church, which means you're justified in the eyes of, uh, in the eyes, yeah, okay, in the eyes of God and qualified to enjoy his inheritance as a son of God who's been adopted by the Spirit, Christ himself, into sonship, a way, or excuse me, amen. Uh, I could, I could talk Christ all day long because it absolutely fills my spirit with joy and thanksgiving or thanks, thankfulness. And is our strength against the enemy. Amen. Hopefully this made a tiny bit of sense. I suck at explaining things. Yes, I do. Um, uh, but I pray that, you know, faith alone before and after salvation, walking in the spirit and not the flesh, cause because uh, it's crucified daily, reckoned, reckoned it dead on the cross and buried. We rest while he raises us up in newness of life which is through the spirit of Christ tangled up in us as one with our spirit and the fathers too in Christ. We're one body and, uh, and I was just put one body, one spirit, you know, and Christ is the head who supplies us with everything we need in this world through his life, not the flesh. Cause it's crucified daily, reckon it dead on the cross and buried. Oh, oh my bad. I already read that. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see where I'm at. Okay. One with the body, everything. Okay. We need in this world and this life, his life giving spirit. We no longer have to worry as earth dwellers of what life is all about. Yeah. This isn't our home. This is not our home. We are passing through. And, um, you know, uh, I was, I was sharing with, uh, Nez a song that I grew up with, um, from, uh, Stephen Chris Chapman. And it was called more to this life. And it basically talked about how, you know, we go through our day-to-day -day life and it's like a, and that, that's the analogy that she was, that I think Naz was trying to make was, it is a matrix, you know, um, people have no idea, you know, why 
they're even here and they're questioning things and everything, but yet they keep going through the day-to-day -day stuff and don't even see that, uh, or don't want to see that it's all about Christ, you know? Um, and, uh, as I said, I just about ready to say here, um, yeah, we no longer have, uh, have to worry as, uh, earth dwellers of what life is all about. It's all for Christ and we are his inheritance just as he is ours and great reward and enjoyment today. Uh, amen. Okay. I'll shut up now. <laughs> um, and, uh, basically the analogy is, do you choose Christ and, and live, uh, faith to faith? Or do you decide to just go along with the matrix and not, um, you know, uh, see that it's, that all of this is for Christ. All of this is, is, is about Christ. Um, just like, you know, the message. It's all about getting the, me the message out, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, the salvation of his eternal spirit in us as hope, as our hope of glory. And accepting that free gift that, you know, um, uh, that Jesus uh, died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And it's about what God uh, God's record says about his son all throughout the Bible from the old Testament. It is pointing strictly to Christ. So therefore the gospel was in the old Testament and it's in the new Testament. And it's also, um, and it's all in the tribulation as well. It's all about the message of Christ. It's all about the, the, uh, the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ and living, um, through him. And it's his spirit that gives us the supply that we need to live today. And I know a lot of people are, um, you know, weary and just want to give up. I've been there. I've been there many, many times. Um, I wish my body would just give out and I would just go, you know, he would just take me home. But the more I, uh, I went through that bit of discipline area of my life, Gently, um, the Lord showed me that it's his, it, it's all, it's all about him. It's not about me. It's not about even, you know, even though I thought that, you know, it, it's like what Paul says, you know, I, I long to be with Christ, but yet for me to stay is, you know, for your, for your good. And I am in no way repeat re, or putting myself in Paul's shoes. Okay. I'm just saying that, um, you know, God's timing is perfect not only for when he decides to reveal the church um, through Christ himself, but his timing is perfect for every one, every individual person as well um, in their own situations, you know, and we, and we can't rush that. We can't um, hold that back. And um, that is uh, uh, even, you know, even though we, we, we suffer uh, for his sake, um, it, it, it's all his timing, it, you know, it's, it's all for our good and his glory. So I've, I've, uh, for myself personally, I've, I've learned to rest even more in that and, um, you know, get my eyes off my own stupidity and, and self and, uh, uh, sorry. And, um, you know, um, just rest in Christ and enjoy him every day through the little things and, um, you know, uh, and just grow in the knowledge of him. So, okay, I'm done rambling. Um, <laughs> anyway, I, I wanted to share that with, uh, uh with y'all and, um, hopefully those uh, that were, you know, kind of maybe a bit confused and everything that might help, might've helped a little bit. Um, I know this, I call I'm going to basically call this a piggyback of, um, uh, on, uh, Sister Nez's video. I think that's how I word it or something like that. If I remember, um, also I've had a lot of people ask me questions about, um, David Benjamin's music and, um, I have a playlist in my, uh, was it mine? No, I'm sorry. He has a playlist on his channel and 
I'll actually link it down below, okay? And it's like it's like a hundred and something uh, videos of of um, uh, I believe it's him and um, uh, other instruments that he plays and everything, and um, they're absolutely beautiful, and I I I really enjoy them. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that link down um, to that playlist as well, and um, also uh, the um, uh, the website as well for uh, the Romans book and, and other books that he has um, that you can download for free or uh, get the paperbacks or some. So, all right. Um, I pray you all had a good weekend and uh, Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>